when nature calls, you literally have no other option than to answer. But what if nature calls when you're right in the middle of a game as a professional footballer? What do you do? Listen, you still have to answer. And we'll look at how some players have answered nature's call in the middle of football games. Here are six footballers who have had to use the toilet in the middle of a match. Number 1. Sergio Ramos Post a picture of him celebrating the winner with Ronaldo with the caption, Nature calls out and back in. Hopefully he didn't forget to wash his hands while he was hurrying to get back on the pitch. Of course he washed his hands, come on, he's not savage. But if you're bothered about Ramos washing his hands, then you're probably not ready for this next one. Number 2. Gary Lineker it was the World Cup in Italy back in 1990 and Gary Lineker was not feeling too well going into England's opening game, but he decided he was going to soldier on and play anyway. He didn't tell the manager about his health because he didn't want to be dropped. He wanted to represent his country that badly, but that soon turned out to be a not very good idea. 20 minutes into the game, he started cramping, but he managed to make it to half-time and he really thought he was going to be alright from then on in. But about 10 or 15 minutes into the second half, the cramping started again, and this time he knew he was in trouble. He stretched out to try and block a ball and then fell to the ground. He wanted to use that opportunity to relax a bit, but nature called right there in the middle of the pitch. His teammate, Gary Stevens, went to him and asked him what was wrong, and Gary told him he had just shit himself. He was dragging himself across the pitch to try and wipe himself on the pitch. He also wiped his hands on the grass and tried to continue playing, but the stench was so bad that he had to be taken off. Now, to make matters worse for him, the tunnel was not beside the dugout like in most stadiums you see these days, so he had to remain on the bench until the game was over. And of course, no one wanted to sit beside him. This happened over three decades ago now, but the internet just cannot stop reminding Gary Lineker of his stinker against the Republic of Ireland at the World Cup. And they don't care that Gary scored four goals in that tournament and helped England to get to the semi-finals. That's how much a shit can leave a stain on you. Number 3. Eric Dyer in 2020, Eric Dyer jogged off the pitch in the second half of an EFL Cup game against Chelsea. And considering Spurs were a goal down at that point, his manager at the time, Jose Mourinho, wasn't having it. He followed him down the tunnel to try and get him back on the pitch, but there's nothing anyone can do when nature calls, even if you're the special one. Anyway, Dyer was out and back in a moment to help his side win the game on penalties after Lamella equalised in the 83rd minute. Dyer was named Man of the Match after the game, but he made sure he handed the award to the real Man of the Match, the Toilet. And by the way, Gary Lineker seized that opportunity to poke fun at himself before anybody tried to do it for him. Players just don't shit on the pitch anymore. What's wrong with them? He jokingly said in a tweet. Number 4. Jens Lehmann Outfield players appear to have the luxury of being able to run off the pitch to relieve themselves and then run back in without disturbing the game. But as a goalkeeper, you just can't do that. It's either you're subbed off or the entire game will be halted for you, and we have never seen the latter being done before. Anyway, when former Arsenal goalie Jens Lehmann was faced with this difficult situation, he handled it rather expertly. At least that's what his club's director of sports said. The German shot stopper who was playing for Stuttgart at the time quickly jumped over the advertising board behind the goal and appeared to be urinating while the game was going on. His timing seemed to be perfect though, because the moment he jumped back onto the pitch, he was facing an attacking move from the opponents. Perhaps that's why his club director said he handled it perfectly. The club's management, however, told him that he was only lucky to have escaped a booking for what he did. Well, the question remains, what else could he have done? What would you have done if you were layman? Number 5. Ronaldo Nazario In his prime, Ronaldo was the greatest player on the planet and the deadliest striker the world had ever seen. The lad could do whatever with the ball and absolutely nobody could stop him. And he proved that yet again in an Olympics football game between Brazil and Hungary. The Europeans had just grabbed an equaliser and while they were celebrating, Ronaldo just grabbed the ball, sat in the middle of the pitch and started taking a leak, using the football as cover. 
When we say he could do whatever he wanted with the ball and nobody could stop him, it includes that too. The cameras caught him and he was then asked about it in the post-match conference. And the three-time FIFA World Player of the Year didn't even deny anything. But what were you going to do about it? He's Ronaldo. Number 6. Robbie Savage Now, of everyone that made the list today, this right here was the most expensive shit. So this one happened just before kickoff and not during a game like the rest of the entries, but it was just so iconic that we couldn't leave it out. This happened back in 2002. Savage was playing for Leicester City, and their Premier League game against Aston Villa was just about to start when he had to quickly go number two. He was suffering from diarrhea as a result of the antibiotics he was taking for an injury on his leg, so he had to go badly. The nearest toilet was the one assigned to the ref, but he didn't care, he went in anyway. We hear that when he was done, he left the door open and didn't flush. So, Graham Pohl, the centre referee for that game, reported Savage to the FA and they slapped a £10,000 fine on the former Leicester man. Honestly, for not flushing, Robbie Savage surely deserved that fine. But after revealing in his 2010 autobiography that he also didn't wash his hands after that visit to the toilet, he surely deserves to be slapped with another fine. Like, come on, Robbie. That was so savage. Have you ever had to use the bathroom in the middle of something really serious or time-bound? Like maybe an exam or a job interview? What did you do? What happened? Share your story with us in the comments. As you know, this is a safe space. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.